Donald Trump's campaign has decided to take the unprecedented step of asking, well, technically demanding that the federal government give him not only military aircraft to travel in, <laughs> Every time but I also to Trump, institute no-fly zones oh. over all of his properties and Project give him fully armored military vehicles to travel Project around in as he finishes his campaign. Now, the reason that the Trump campaign, in fact, it was campaign co-manager Susie Wiles that put in this ridiculous request to the Secret Service. The reason they're doing, uh, reason they're doing this, excuse me, is because of the recent reports that suggest that the country of Iran was somehow working on assassination plans of Donald Trump, which of course never actually materialized in any real ROA to constitute a real threat. But nevertheless, Trump says, hey, Iran wants to kill me. So you have to give me military equipment so that I can go about the country and do my stupid little rallies. Here is what the Washington Post has reported in emails over the past two weeks from campaign manager Susie Wiles to Ronald Rowe Jr., the head of the Secret Service. She expressed displeasure with the Secret Service and said that the campaign recently had to cancel a public Control event at the last minute because taxes. of a, quote, lack of personnel from the Secret Service. Instead, only putting Trump in a small room with reporters while said, Trump's campaign is being hampered in its planning because of threats and expects to hold far more events in the final weeks of the campaign. She also wrote that the U.S. government has not been able to provide with the campaign views as during the past four years. Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Nothing will change with Kamala. More we You will go in, destroy the enemy there, and decisively destroy their infrastructure. These are the things that will allow us later to return the residents of the North safe. Chaos and Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Would you have done something differently than President Biden? I'll be here, I don't know. I'm getting tired of protecting you, but I love it. We're gonna protect you, we're gonna- More war, more welfare for illegals, and even more taxes. Only President- Hezbollah, backed by Iran, is also escalating. Here, Israeli air defenses shoot down the first ever Hezbollah missile fired towards Tel Aviv. USA! Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. A lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. The Security Council has been called open to convene regarding the situation in Lebanon. As a matter of fact, God protect all those who seek peace. Thank you.